Hi friends, welcome back to my garden. I'm Michelle. I'm starting today's tour inside as it's quite cold outside. Um, the storm that's moving through is even bringing cold weather here to Florida into our zone 9A uh, space. Um, we are anticipating some freezing temperatures tonight and in the next couple of days we're actually going to have a cold Christmas, which I can't even remember the last time that's happened. Normally we're in shorts. So I wanted to go outside and make a quick video um, because I'm anticipating some of the things will not make it through the uh, freezing temperatures. So I wanted to show you what the space looks like and talk about the things I've done here in fall and then what's what my plans are for the springtime. So come along with me and let's go take a look at how the garden's looking here in December. Here's how my front door looked. I have a few plants. Um, a geranium that actually is supposed to replace my fall mum over there. Um, I bought a poinsettia and ivy insert and I had some hostas already going over here. Um, normally I cut the blooms off but I was enjoying these so much I just let them produce here on this hosta. And I have, I'm, I think that is a kale. Uh, and normally I don't see those here or they must sell out before I can get to the garden center and get them. But I was able to get my hands on um, four of them. So I have a few others in the landscape, which I'll show you in a second. But this is how the front space is. I just need to pop this over into there. Here's another thing I wanted to show you guys. My husband got me this topiary for our anniversary uh, this l last November, this well, last month. And uh, I'm really enjoying that. I've wanted one of these for so long. And I planted some violas down here. So I'm looking forward to changing that out with the seasons. But uh, I just really love how that anchors the corner here. So I will start with this corner. Um, I have a hibiscus plant here that uh, started off pretty low to the ground at the beginning of the season and has put on all of this growth. Um, let me back up to show you. It's a little bit big for the space, so I plan on changing that out um, in spring. I'm not sure if I'll pull it out before we get to spring or if I will wait, uh, but I will cut it back and then I plan on moving it because it's just a little obtrusive here. Um, so I actually got an English rose from David Austin, a tree form of the rolled doll, rolled doll, can't say the name, but I'll put a little picture on the screen to show you. Um, I want to put that in the space. I bought the standard form of that, uh, a bare root variety that should come in spring. So the other items I have in the space are some hostas here and little mini rose bushes I had transplanted. I have a few Ruby Chip Junior butterfly bushes. This guy's a little bit easier to see, um, but I have a set of four of them. I also have a set in the back and they have actually done a little better than these guys. So I'm not sure if I'm overwatering, underwatering, or if they've just already um, started heading into dormancy, but the the back ones are quite a lot more lush than these and they were received about at the same time and in roughly the same condition. So I may be overwatering these, I'm not sure. I have some mums left from fall that I had cut back once and they are flushing out again. And these hollyhocks here, I started from seed. Uh, they did not bloom this year. So I am hoping that they bloom for me in the spring uh, that they make it through the winter and come back but we'll see what happens I'm not sure if I may move them to the back or or what I'll do over in here I I did have another quite large hibiscus here that I moved earlier this year and it did not make it I moved it a little bit too early it was very intense summer heat and it just didn't make it but I moved this knockout rose at the same time and it bounced back quite well. I cut it 
I had cut it back and removed all its foliage and it um, produced more foliage again and it had actually another round of blooms uh, before here we got to this cooler weather. So I'm quite pleased with this rose. It's done very well and I'm looking forward to the spring. Here I have a hydrangea that I cut back and because uh, we did have a cold snap in fall so I decided to cut back and as you can see because we have such warm weather here some of the budding areas have actually pushed new growth but I don't anticipate that these will survive our freezing temps so I do expect that this entire thing will go uh, but it will come back. I had a clematis here that had um, died and keeps coming back. So I don't imagine he's going to survive the freeze, but um, because he has produced growth multiple times, I am anticipating that he will come back in spring as well. So here's some more mums that I had gotten in fall and they, uh, I cut them back after their first flush and they're producing more along with this one here I have in this pot. But I had a, a large opening in this area, so I bought some calla lilies and filled in uh, with some violas and a pansy that got uh, somehow put into the mix. Um, and then here's some more of the lettuce, well, the kale that I had gotten, and I'm just loving this. Um, I know this is probably not anything interesting for northern gardeners, but it's not something common to Florida, at least in my area. So I was very excited to be able to grow those this year, put some in the ground. And I just love these purple, purple calla lilies here. Back here is some salvia that I had cut back the second time I had cut it back and this guy here actually has a little bud but I'm not sure if he'll make it through the frost or not but um, these guys always seem to come back for me but I do struggle with um, mold and fungus with them if you can see the brown spots even in summer I seem to get that but here is the bud that's coming I don't know if I can focus on that or not but uh, so anyway, the plants, it stays, because it stays warm, they keep pushing the growth. So over here are my showstoppers, and this is really what I wanted to show you because I am not anticipating that they will make it through the frost. But we'll see what happens. They are underneath a magnolia tree. So let me show you. So I don't know if this will provide any uh, shelter for them, any protection for them or not. I don't plan on covering them, so we'll see. But this is the Sedona Sunset by Proven Winners. I have really loved this variety, and I plan to get some in the new year. I'd like to actually put them in the back. And around the corner here, I have a Laura Pedlum that I had gotten, that I've really enjoyed. And some coral bells here, hookara. And when I, I think these are the Cherry Dulce by Proven Winners. And they actually pushed out a bloom stalk because we were so warm. And I love that they have multiple tones here. There's green and there's red. And uh, here I had a Camilla, or a Camellia. And it was very pretty light pink blooms um, with a dark pink margin edging to them. And it has actually, all the blooms have produced and fallen off but I have had a little bit of growth since I planted it here so I really 
loved uh, the blooms and looking forward to seeing it again next year. And I have one more hydrangea here. And so hopefully um, we do, this, this spot stays a little bit shadier and uh, we're so hot here. These are the large macrophilia hydrangeas and um, they can take the sun, but because we get so hot, I think that they like having some shade. So I'm hoping this area will be better for bloom production, but we'll see. Sometimes you just have to move stuff around if it's not quite the right spot. But I have some little hostas tucked in here and I had planted caladiums and they're still popping through even though I had cut them all back. But let me give you a, a view of the garden from this side. And then I'll step around and show you just an overall from the front here. And our Christmas nativity. But this is the space here in December. So thank you so much, friends, for joining me. I've really appreciated you coming with me along this journey. I look forward to continuing to grow as a gardener um, and showing you that progress. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Have a blessed holiday season with your families, and I will catch you in the next video. God bless.